pet animal is causing grief for Summerlin drivers, but it's also causing confusion for city, county, and state officials. 13 Action News reporter Marissa Keniston got some answers in a story you asked us to investigate. I get tears just thinking about it. It was just so heartbreaking. Every morning for nearly two months, Linda Martinelli drives past what she calls a disturbing sight. As I went by it and I would see it, I would just get a, you know, a sick feeling in my stomach. On Summerlin Parkway between Buffalo and Tenea is this, a dead cat lying flat on the side of the road. So it's really gross. This poor animal was killed two months ago and it's been run over several times. But Martinelli is more disturbed that nobody has done anything to remove the animal for months. She called both city and state departments. So it was one of those things. Neither of them claiming responsibility. I pay my taxes, all of us do, and we expect a certain level of service and that would be to keep the streets free of dead animals and debris. I was able to talk with the city street department and get some answers. They tell me this stretch of Summerlin Parkway lies in an infrastructure gray area with four different jurisdictions responsible for different parts of the road. They said the confusion was this. Normally, this would be Clark County Animal Control's responsibility. But since it's on a busy highway in the city's jurisdiction, the street department has agreed to take care of it. Hopefully we won't have this um, problem in the future, whether it be um, a dead animal or just other debris that obviously ends up in the parkway. The street department tells me they plan to have the carcass removed by the end of the day. Near Summerlin Parkway, Marissa Keniston, 13 Action News. We looked into this story after a viewer reached out to us. So if you have a problem or issue you want us to check out, send an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and please be sure to include your phone number.